Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. I am recording here from the SALT Conference Huge Hedge Fund Symposium in Las Vegas. And I have to get back inside to another session. We have a panel starting with a handful of hedge fund managers in a few moments. But I wanted to um, address in this week's Dividend Cafe, our video version, the uh, incredible week we've had in the political circle, the massive market sell-off, 370 points down on the Dow yesterday. Um, that that really is the story of the week. Um, in our written version, DividendCafe.com, there is more this week about uh, various sectors in the equity market and emerging markets. We have a few comments there. Definitely some good stuff about the Fed and their balance sheet from a monetary policy standpoint. But the big story this week was the alleged rumor leak uh, regarding Trump intervening with uh, the to James Comey, FBI director at the time, about the Michael Flynn investigation, um, and then the fears that perhaps that was going to lead to talk of impeachment and other worse types of punitive issues, raising levels of political uncertainty, causing markets to swoon. They rebounded a little bit here on Thursday, nowhere near how much they had been down on Wednesday. So earnings season is essentially now done for the quarter, so there's no real catalyst to a market move higher. When all said and done, the market is not even 2% off of those highs. We haven't had a 5% drop since July of last year, peak to, to, to trough. Longest since 1996 that we've gone without a 5% move down. So certainly volatility has come back and certainly it was related to these sort of at this point kind of unclear, unfounded, speculative issues regarding Trump and, and controversy and impeachment chatter and all this type of stuff. But let's just say that this wasn't in the news this week. We're extremely due for this type of volatility. It's highly normal to expect things of that nature. And from our vantage point, the fundamental batch after this market's in play, which is earnings acceleration. Companies are flat out making more money than they were, and they're making double digit percentage more money than they were a year ago. Um, from 10 to 15% earnings growth. Uh, across most sectors of the market. Um, so in our perspective, the political uncertainty is a natural and very likely sustainable creator of volatility, providing more risk premium to the patient and discipline investors. But fundamentally, we think that there's all the issues hanging out there that people know about potential for tax reform, repatriation of foreign profits, the benefits that come from a deregulation in energy and financials, and then the uh, very low unemployment, uh, increase in manufacturing, increase in, in uh, production, increase in productivity, all pretty much creating a very non-recessionary economic backdrop. You get any type of global reflation, global acceleration out of Europe or China or both. Overall, it's a pretty good potpourri for markets. Uh, we would expect more volatility. We would expect the bullish thesis to remain in play more intermediate term. We obviously couldn't predict what's gonna happen out of this Trump situation, but our guess is that there's not going to be a lot there when all said and done, but we don't know that. But along the way, we think that that economic agenda is gonna come out of this intact. And that's what the markets care about. The, the earnings stream is uh, not threatened. So to that end, we'll close out the video version of Dividend Cafe, but please go to the website, read more, and reach out anytime, any questions. And at marketepicurean.com, we will try to do a more thorough summary of the SALT conference, some pretty uh, significant takeaways here from this incredible hedge fund gathering. Thanks for listening.